amazing being here on this channel. I know it's been a while as a lot of things were going on in the background. So I'm not going to bore you too much. We're just going to go straight into the topic. As you can see in the title, correct score and draw bets. All right. So how are we going to find this? As you can see on your screen, I have a draw bet. I played recently and it was a win and I have um, over 2.5. This is not what we're actually concentrating on. Actually, we're concentrating on this. Now, the reason why we're here is simply to get something off. Our, okay, let me just show that to you quickly. Let me take this all out. All right, see, so I want to talk about something that actually worked for me because not every day you see me pull up a best slip that I played for me to use it as a reference to make a recording. But in this very case, it was quite important that I do because it has to do with correct score and a draw bet. These are some of the options that nobody ever, ever, ever touches at all. Yeah, I always make mention that very soon we're going to start dropping tips and it's going to be very, very soon. So talking about the draw bet, how can we finally decide to say, yes, this is going to end in a draw? As a matter of fact, when I played this game, I didn't actually believe it was going to end in a draw. Personally, what did I just say? That? That's wrong. I actually felt from the very first moment I picked the game, I saw, okay, the best they can, these people can do is a draw or a very low scoring game. That is where the correct score comes in. Now, if we come over here, I just wanted to see this ticket that it's actually possible that you can predict yourself because I did myself. That's why I got this winning ticket. So it's actually possible for you to get yourself. This is my one expert account. I'm going to just switch out of here and let me just kill this and swap over to this very app right here all right so this is where i actually did the whole magic this is where the magic happened we actually picked my 2.5 and that bit, for that very ticket that you saw and this is where i picked the draw bets okay so i took out time to come over here this was not a game that was played today it's just for you to know in case you want to go search it out i think it was played about last week or so so i i had to pick the game when i saw it as you know I already jumped into the video giving you details up front. So let's just go ahead. I'm not here to do any introduction. It's been a while. You've not gotten information from me. So I'm going to give you some good information right now. Now, as you can see right here, let me just pull it up. If you can see right here, average goals considered, average goals considered. This is our uh, trick. This is where the trick happens. The lower the average goals, the better for you. All right. So I suggest you always use this app. Always make sure you're using this app. It's very, very good. Very, very nice. So the lower the average goals considered, the better for you, for you to achieve your goal. Now, the first rule of getting a draw bet, all right, so we're going to talk about correct score, all right? Though they are like um, using one stone to kill to bet, they go together, okay? So the first rule about getting the draw bet is, first of all, it's the goals, the amount of goals considered by possibly both teams must be very, very low. This is the trick. I don't know. This bird is making a hell of a noise here. Don't do that again. I'm recording a YouTube video, okay? You want to make a deal? All right. <laughs> okay, that's by the way. So you want to make sure that the the average score, average goals considered is very, very low because simply because you are going to be able to predict the amount of goals that are going to come in at the end of the day. Do you understand? Like you can see the idea that, okay, potentially this game is not going to con uh, produce a lot of goals. So I have a chance to predict a certain number of um, uh, scoreline or a certain amount of scoreline that will happen in the game. All right. I don't know if I'm making sense. So if this team the away team concedes 1.1 goal per game this is even for me is high if i'm going to pick games it, it goes around 0 0.9 downwards like something like this right here all right so then it's average goals considered this one right here oh just okay that's it that's a 0 0.9 below and and below let me put it that way now what actually makes me what actually interests me here is the fact that the average goal scored by the home team is also very low 0 0.6 so it's not like they produce a lot of goals so i'm already i'm already excited about the fact that there are not going to be a lot of goals in this game so there's a potential for this game to end in a draw now if you want to take a look right here i want to show you stuff real quick 
If we take a look at here, see the, the odds for a draw is 3.15. All right. The lower the odds for a draw, the better it shows you a signal that there's a potential draw in here. How do you think that these bookmakers get the odds for draw? It's simple. The amount of goals are going to come into the game. So basically, this game is already telling that it's going to go a huge under maybe 2.5 or 3.5. It's almost a certain that it's going to give us under. This game is going to give us under. You know, it's some... Um, some um, uh, what's it called? Technicalities can make a game go over, like red cards and maybe playing your weaker team and stuff. So we pretend like everything is in ideal scenario, everything is perfect. So we just pretend that everything is perfect. We cannot control some of these technicalities. We just have to accept what we see on our statistical table. So you already know the first trick. The first trick is to make sure that the goals considered are very, very low all right so once the goals are very very low we already have one advantage as we can see here 1.1 and 0.9 not that far away so it's low and then we can see the goal scored by even the away team is one goal on the average and the home team scored an average of 0.6 so not a lot of goals scored not a lot of goals considered so we are looking at an under game drawing close to an over so what we simply do okay what we simply do we already have one option in our mind we just simply come over to them just quickly do a check and say okay this game has even been played already as i can see right here it's a zero zero game i i really forgot it has been played and good enough uh, i had to use it for this um analysis all right i think it was played is it today okay yeah on the fourth of the month of this month of april on the fourth Day. So that's when the game was played. Oh, oh, Argentina, uh, Liga Professional. So it ended. Oh, oh. So I just um, you you needed to really see this. You I needed to use something like this for the explanation, so that when you go ahead and make these picks or check this app for such parameters for you to draw your conclusion, you can easily know what to look out for. All right. So if I come to tomorrow's games, which is supposed to be Saturday. It's not going to be easy for me to, okay, I think I must have tapped on the bright um, thing thing. <laughs> I don't know. So that that should be, let me just check that. I don't know where I must have touched to. Or... All right, that aside. So what you do this for tomorrow's games, you can just come over. Let me just click on um, La Liga, Spain La Liga, this very game, Osasuna Elche. I click on that they come on load up real quick load up load up load up it's taking time okay if I click on that I'm going to let me just make sure okay if I click on that I'm going to see that um, these people they can see two goals and these people they consider an average of one goal and this home team don't score that often same thing with the away team they don't score that often so I see two lower teams playing against each other I'm not predicting anything so that you're not going to hold me by my word and say, this is what I predicted, <laughs> right? But these are two lower teams playing against each other. So I think there's going to be goals, I think, but maybe not a lot of goals. So we can go ahead and and see a potential um, a potential correct score here going in the region of 1-1, one, 2-1, one, one, um, and the rest of them, all right? So... Now, I was actually using the other one to make your explanation. I'm going to go back to that real quick. But before we go ahead, I want you to just quickly come over here and make sure that I know where the, uh, which team has the advantage. But as I was just going to mention that I saw something right here, which I don't think is possible. I saw over 2.5 at 1.01. Is this realistic? And under 2.5 at 1.02. How does that even make sense? So there's supposed to be an error here. All right, so I'm going to ignore that. And um, yeah, as you can see, both teams just got to is 1.01. What kind of odds are these? Probably there's an error. So you see the home team to win actually has the advantage in this very case. And the away team has, there is no draw, a potential draw or to signal you that there's going to be a draw in the game. So you can see that's 3.55. So we shift away from the draws. Even if we're going to pick... Um, no, I'm not saying the draw will not come. All right? So even if we're going to pick our correct score, we want to make sure that our correct score is not going to be on the 0-0 side. 
because there's a potential for this game to produce goals. If you watch my previous video on tips on how to get over as unders using this same app, you discover that we touched on teams having considered an average of two goals and above. We should start considering this as our over goals without even considering the goal scored. So we're just using the goal scored in this case because we're talking about uh, draws and correct scores. So from what I can see, there's potential for this game to produce goals and at the same time to have maybe 1-1, one, 2-1 one, one correct scores as the case maybe. So come to Spain La Liga. That's Spain La Liga. We want to go ahead and click on Osasuna Elche. So we want to scroll up and look for the correct score option. Now, for the draw, I believe it's sorted, all right, from the Argentina Liga. Even the same thing with the correct score, too. So you already know that you're looking at underscoring. So in this very case, I think we're taking it a little bit bigger stretch because the rules for the draw actually applies for correct score. The rules are the same. That's why you see the video is two in one because they are the same. For this very one, I'm just trying to show you. I don't actually encourage you going ahead to pick correct score for put games that have a potential high scoring. No, I don't actually support that. The reason I'm even bothering to go and check on the correct score is because the two teams are lower table teams and they don't score a lot. So I need you to understand that. All right. So. Correct score centers, correct score and draw game centers mostly on teams that do not produce a lot of goals. So you can go ahead and pick teams that produce a lot of goals and then want to play draws or a correct score. This game, these people can can play any kind of score line that you cannot even imagine. All right. So if I scroll all the way up, I see correct score right here. All right. So first things first, we see 0, zero Having a hold of um sorry, having a hold of seven point one and one zero having five point five. So what you do, you pick between four and five games. In this case, I think you should pick up to five games because the lowest or you use the lowest all right, you use the lowest or to know how many games you're going to pick. In this case, you can pick up to five games. The lowest score is five point five. So if anyone plays, let's assume that this very one is the one that plays, you see make a profit of zero point five multiplied by your money you understand so if you played with uh, 1000 error you make 500 all right so you understand so that's basically playing this if you play up to five games all right so if you play for instance there are some odds that are 5.0 so if you play that one and still play five games you you're going to get your money back you understand so it's like five you played five different options for for instance you played this one you pick this one basically so you're going to select singles at the end you pick that one i don't really suggest you pick this one but you pick this one that's 12 odd you pick this one then you pick this one one so we've picked four and you go ahead and pick um let's say um maybe this one all right so maybe that one so we have five games already so that is what we can potentially pick for a game like this so if any of this plays, we, we're going to get a profit of, maybe this is the list that plays, we get a profit. So if this one plays, maybe this one plays, the 12 odd plays, we get much, even much more profit, all right? So depending on whichever one that plays, we're going to make a profit. Now, it happens that even anyone can play from all the options of correct score, anyone can actually play. So... If it plays outside the five that we pick, then we have lost our ticket. But you, that's why you need to bring your analysis closer to games that do not produce a lot of goals so that you can shrink your options to a limited session. It will be easier for you to pick your correct score and pick your draw bets. You understand? So I hope you really, really got all my explanations because I've been thinking about how to make this video and how to explain all these things to you because they actually work really they do work all right so don't forget low scoring games all right put your mind there put your mind in low scoring games use that app now if you can't find maybe a particular game that you want to put your money on or you want to as 
um, analyze for you can simply come over here let me just come over to football for instance we're on football because this doesn't work for what did i say business with basketball at all so you can just simply come over to this app it has all the games that you want okay for instance today this is 588 games and the other app that i opened barely have up to 100 games so you don't want to limit yourself to that you can just simply come here yourself and pick games all right so you can just pick games let me say um let me go back just a second uh, I just closed the app. Oh, hopefully, loads up quickly. It just did. So let's go back and quickly search. Let me check this. Let's check this. All right. Uh, these are very high scoring games. Okay. Click on tomorrow, Saturday. Guys, stay with me. Stay with me. Okay. Stay with me. Don't go anywhere. If you're enjoying this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Now, as you can see, there are lots of games here. Okay, we're back to Argentina Premiera Aperture, Premiera B, right? All right, so there are lots of games here, as you can see clearly, and these games are not on that app. I'm telling you for real, they are not on that app. So what you want to do is come over, just let's click on any of them. For instance, we just clicked on this one. You just pick up your calculator and do your thing by yourself. All right, so let's just wait for it to load up and do its magic. All right, so it's simple for the um, uh, home team. Let's check how many goals they concede. For the home team, we have zero, consider zero. The home team, two here. The home team, two. The home team, zero. The home team, one. So just pick up all of them and do your average. Add them together and do your average. You'll be getting something in the region of one point there about. If it's, up to going, if it's going to be up to one point because we have two low scoring games right there. So I think one point should do. Down here for the away team, you have zero two. Uh, we have um two goals considered. Uh, wait, who's the away team? All right, all right. I think I was looking at the wrong one. So we have zero goals considered. We have two goals considered. We have um zero goals considered. We have one goal considered, and we have one goal considered. So this is going to be a very low conceding team. You understand? So we're looking at a low scoring game in our hand so you may not necessarily go and check on the head to head you may not necessarily go so but in this case we have already scored down there and we've seen it just take your biro and your paper or your calculator and do your analysis yourself so you don't lose out in so many games that are going to be played that app does not cover a lot of games so you can see right here we have zero one one zero two one one three and zero two now these are the scores that they've had in the past it's all left for you to decide on what to do left for me i'll stick with these ones this first ones right here zero one 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 zero and stuff like this this is just how for you to predict your correct score guys you there's no way you would tell me that this video did not give you a lot of resources as in there's it's not possible so if you know you got benefit from this video hit me that like put your hand there smash the like button for me so i can get excited and do more research to give you some more resources to hit these options and last but not the least, if you know you're new to my channel, hit the subscribe button. As you can see, I have to push it towards the end of the video before I do all this. You can actually click out of it. You may not even hear this part. Or you can be my friend and hit the subscribe button and just make me happy. Put a comment in the comment section. And let's see what you think about this new idea and strategy for you to queue correct score and drop it it's been a pleasure always a pleasure to be on the channel with you guys thank you for watching today's video ah uh, i hope i've not missed something i wanted to say but whichever way i'm going to if i find out i'll do a follow-up video i'll see you on the next one guys peace one love